Yes! He died. Yes, finally! Finally! Hi, how you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, last time we took a very big L from the giant baboon, and we also saw some of Rain's samurai skills. So, what we're gonna do now is we're basically going to do a round two. So, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm most likely gonna have to do that, uh, mini, uh, mini battle before the real battle. So, for me, it's gonna be a minute, but for you, it's gonna be like two seconds. So, let's go. So, and we're back. Uh, we're where we left off right before the uh, big real fight. We're going to have to fight it. Understood. All right. Videos help us. We're going to beat you this time. <laughs> this, this will happen. My turn. Uh. Well, she's already linked up, so can she not use her S break? Crap. Um. Fire, do we got any fire skills right now? We do. Marcus, activate. Right. You just you power us up right now. We gotta play smart with this epiphany. My turn. Fire, yep. Flames, gamble on my blade. Ah! Oh, it took about half. I can do this. Turn to flames. Burn! Ah, it didn't take much at all. Ow. Okay, thank you for not knocking her out. Ah, oh, dang. No, they don't need that right now. Um... I really need to take them out, so... Let's go. He's gonna get that. Oh, he took himself out. Alright. So you're gonna get this. Mmm, toasty. Oh, come on. We oh, she's out for the count already. It's my turn. You literally oh my god, are you serious? Come on. You have my face. Ah, no, he can't die too. I can do this. Come on. Um Terra. My turn. 
Uh, let's just get you out of range. This looks bad. Yeah, all it's gonna take is one more hit and you're gonna be done. Ah, come on. Go. All right, let's do this. We are sucking really bad. Right. Holy crap. She needs it more. Hang in there. You have my things. Ow. Ow. I'm sorry, everyone. Already. Of course. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm about to lose so bad. Oh my god. Can I run? <laughs> Can I run? Oh my god. We're gonna just gonna have to take the second L. Because this is not how I wanted it to go at all. Ow. See, look. I hate you. I really want to know that I just hate you. We died faster than the first time. Ain't that a biscuit? Be careful, this one looks strong. Right. Can you use Esper? No, she cannot. Oh, we're all linked up already. Not until they get closer. Give it up, everyone. So round three. We're going for round three. I get it. Here we go. Flames, gamble on my plate. Ah! Okay, that cut about half, just like last time. Alright, cut even this. more. Hmm. Should I use our No, yeah, it's just heat wave on you. You miss! <laughs> Take it. Well, at least you didn't knock him down. Uh, no, don't do anything. Okay, good. Right. Yeah, she needs it the most right now. She's kind of suffering. Oh, she can use her Esprit too now. My yes. Because we need it. Yes. All right, one down, two more to go. Uh, let's try to knock both of you guys out. Please go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Dang. My turn. Oh, he's gonna use his rage attack. Let's try to stop him. Are you serious? Okay, he didn't use it. Oh, but he knocked a lot of us down. Hang in there. It's a good thing he didn't use his Fist of Fury, because we would have been done if he did. Give it up, everyone. 
Come on, we're doing so well. Come on. Let's beat him this time. Ah, still can't use anything. Uh, that's all we can do for now. It's my turn. Oh, I get... Yes, thank you. Please let it take a lot of health. Take a lot of health. Take a lot of health. Please take a lot of health. Ooh. Oh, you took like a cookie. You took a slice. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's heal these guys again. Go to sleep. Dang it. Why won't My you turn. go to sleep? Shatter. Off guard. I got you. Ah. Right. Let's go. Ha. Feel the burn. Feel it. Go. There. Go. Didn't take a lot at all. My turn. Straight up attack. Just go for it. Ah. Right. Yep. Use some heat wave. Here we go. You use heat wave too. Yeah, it's taking a lot. Right. Go to sleep. Ah, oh, dang, the fits of fury. No. I was hoping he wouldn't use it. Strong enough. It's my turn. All right, well, we we can still recover this. It's not that bad. Yes. We still bring her back to life. Huh. You have my face. Go. Uh, Arcus, activate. Huh. Come on, put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. God dang it, go to sleep. I know you must be tired. <laughs> it's my turn. Let's go. Right. Still can't use her arts. Uh she can't attack either? Dang, I guess I have no choice but to use this. Hey, just keep using fire, everybody. Everyone <laughs> just keep using fire. Heat wave, just bring it. Singe his fur on fire. Okay. 
No, she can't use her uh item item then we're gonna have to use that item. You don't need that. Are you serious? Just full on attack then. My turn. Not here. Huh? Don't you dare use Fist of Fury. Okay, good. Okay, I swear to God, if he, if he, uh, oh, not that anymore. But uh, I swear, if he used Fist of Fury again, I was about to like lose my shit. Give it up, everyone. Of course. Shatter. Turn. Nope, he can't use that anymore. There. Go. We're so oh, close. Right. Oh no, for him, yeah, he definitely needs it. Now, let's get him to move out the way. Right. Here we go. There. Okay, she's deadly crack. I'm really hoping he never uses Fist of Fury again. Because if he does, I'm fucked. Dang, still nothing. She can't even use any of her arts. I'm gonna just have to move her. Hmm. But yeah, he needs it more. <laughs> I was about to give it to Laura, but he needs it more. Come on, we're so close! We Just go. don't use Fist of Fury! Ah, oh, dang! Ah. Uh. What? Oh, he didn't die! Holy crap, he made it through the- through the slaughter? Through the pounding? We can't use it. This is gonna uh, takes EP, right? So. Huh? Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God, that was close. That was so. Close. Oh dang. Okay. So can't use that. Just, just give it to him again. He, he really needs to move out the way. Yes, heat wave. Come. Oh my God. We are really at the last. Peace, like, come on, guys. Finish him off. Come on. 
He can use his S break. <gasps> he died. Yes. He died. Yes. Finally. Finally. I waited so long. Oh, I'm so happy that's finally over. That took so long. It took three whole rounds to take him down. Three whole rounds. Oh, we all went up a level. Cannon reached level two. Cannon increases po uh, potency of healing arts. Amount heal multiplied by 1.25. Not much of an upgrade, but I'll take it. Oh, even Tira though. That's gonna be really helpful. Increases potency. Uh huh. Oh, uh -huh. Alright, so he's good. Yep, everyone gets to level up. Yep. I've only just Good for you guys. Ah, now we can finally take that breather and enjoy some nice tasty giant monkey meat. <laughs> I really wanted to end that battle with him doing his flame slash, but I'll take that. I will take that. I'm just happy it's over. I thought we were done for. Yeah, and we were for three whole rounds. <laughs> Still, at least we were able to defeat it. Reen, what was that skill you just performed? Oh, it was something I've been working on for a while. This was the first chance I had to put it through its paces, though. I definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of it now. I see. And she's like, uh-huh. She's like, that was an experimental move. Right. <laughs> you really are amazing, Reen. You're always there to help us when we need it most. No, that's not true. There's really only so much I can do on my own. We wouldn't have been able to defeat that thing if we hadn't all been working together as a team. True. Very true. This was a victory for Group A as a whole. Ah, Teamwork will save the day in the end. <laughs> Indeed. Unbelievable. Ah, what are these kids even doing here? Uh, saving your ass? That's what they're doing there. This wasn't supposed to happen. Who are you talking about? What? Uh oh. It seems we have some unwelcome guests. There they are! And they're not alone. Put your hand really? Really? You gonna surround us? How about you go surround the actual thieves? These guys are so crooked, Don't it's freaking ridiculous. Surrounding us and not them. Exactly. Keep your mouth shut. Don't think we're gonna go easy on you just because you're students. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like all your hard work was for nothing, huh? Sucks to be you. They're not even trying to hide their involvement. Utterly shameless. You're jumping to an awful lot of conclusions. I see two groups of people in a collection of stolen goods, but no indication of which group was responsible. Do you have any way to prove that the four of you aren't the perpetrators? What? Do you intend to frame us? 
pretty much. That's pretty much what he's saying he's gonna do. This is preposterous. I'm just telling you that you need to mind your own business and learn your place. He's basically about to probably make an offer. Just forget what you saw and walk away. Or I'm going to arrest you for stealing. The Kreutzen province is the territory of Duke Alvarea. Yeah, and his son is one of our friends. All we gotta do is talk to him and uh, maybe you'll lose your job uh, along with your home and your paycheck and your wife and kids, you know, just saying. And I will not have a gaggle of bratty students poking their noses where they don't belong. You will back down now or we'll be more than happy to arrest you right here and drag you to Berea Hard City kicking and screaming. See, I knew it. I, I called it. He was, he's making an offer to either shut up and walk away, or I ruin your lives for, for the rest of your life. This is ridiculous. I'm afraid you'll be doing no such thing. Cool voice? Who's cool what? voice? Who's there? Oh. <laughs> he's like, oh, snap. It's the railway military police. Railway military police? Yeah, the RMP. They're supposed to be the most elite unit in the whole of the Imperial Army. Dang. So we got some Class A military studs coming into this piece. I see, mean. I mean, let me guess, you do ice attacks. Why is one of the Chancellor's dogs come here? Don't freaking worry about it. Just know that she's here now. What is the meaning of this? This area is under the jurisdiction of the Kreutzen Provincial Army. The Imperial Army has no right to intervene. With all due respect, Keldic is a major interchange station in our railway network. So in point of fact, we have every right to investigate any incidents that occur in this general vicinity. As I'm sure you well know. <sighs> and in accordance with our investigation thus far, after having questioned all those connected to the incident, we have concluded that it is impossible for any of these students to be guilty of these crimes. <laughs> Busted. Do you wish to contest this judgment? Uh -huh. hmm. I suppose not. Well then, may I suggest you leave us to do our jobs? The RMP will take responsibility for returning all of the stolen goods to their rightful owners as well. Uh. Men, withdraw. We're returning to Keldic. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> the bears are like, "What? No!" Yeah, <laughs> you going to jail. What a deal. Take them into custody. Yes, ma'am. Oh, crap. Totally bold. There's no point in resisting. You're coming with us. Really, you gotta get that last jab in before you run uh, with your tail between your legs?
you all very much for your assistance. Claire Redelt. My name is Captain Claire Revelt of the Railway Military Police. We're a division of the Imperial Army. I'm so glad I got your last name right. <laughs> I've been butchering some of these last names since the game began. And you are the visiting students from Thor's Military Academy, are you not? I'll need to file a report about what happened here. So would the four of you mind accompanying me? All right, so that happened. for everything that you've done today. Thanks to you, the stolen goods have been recovered and those responsible have been found and arrested. I can't possibly express my gratitude. I'm just glad we were able to help. Besides, it only it's only thanks to the RMP's involvement that we were able to catch the culprits in the end. Oh, there's no need to be so modest. All we did was physically arrest the culprits. The rest was entirely on you. Which was very true. Thank you for giving us our credit. If not for your assistance in stopping the criminals from escaping, we would have missed our chance to intervene altogether. I believe the credit for this achievement is yours and yours alone. <laughs> All this attention is kind of embarrassing. Still... I suppose it would be rude not to accept your thanks. Indeed, you should all be very proud of what you accomplished here. So, can we leave everything in your capable hands from here or not, Captain? Of course, I'm intending to leave a number of soldiers here for the time being. Rest assured that we'll take care of any further problems that may arise. We are greatly obliged. Still, while your personal loyalties may differ, both the RMP and the virtual army are made up of Erebonian soldiers. So I'd appreciate if you tried to not to stand out too much. Your presence may create some anxiety among the locals. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you for your cooperation with our report. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. Oh no, not at all. And, um, we really appreciate you coming to aid like that. Oh, there's nothing to thank me, really. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I regret having stepped in at all. Overcoming such an impossible situation was probably meant to be part of your field study, too. To build character, perhaps? No, thank you for stepping in. I would, I'm really grateful that you stepped in and saved us from being framed and being war criminals and charged for theft for the rest of our lives. Thank you. <laughs> what? Yeah, I may be good, but I'm not that good. Ah, Sarah. Oh. I instructor? I was wondering when you'd show up. Why is she just back already? Well, like, were they... Was Group B not as much trouble as we thought? It's been a while, Sarah. It's been a while. Oh, I'm sorry, you have your own voice. My apologies. That it has. Six months, give or take? I don't know if I should be surprised or not it, that these two know each other. Honestly, I had no idea you RMP folks were going to get involved with this. I suppose you had everything that was happening here figured out all along. <laughs> you overestimate my abilities. I did receive a report that suggested there might be trouble here, but that's it. Oh, from your brother, I take it. Nothing gets past you lot. We're just trying to make sure we're prepared to deal with any problems that might arise. But I'm sorry to say I don't have any more time to catch up with you right now. I really need to be taking my leave. 
I wish all the best to you and the rest of Class 7. Ah. Well, was she really part of the military? She sure didn't seem like it. She's probably a tough cookie to fight, and I hope we never get to fight her. Her movements and actions, however, were those of a skilled officer. Highly skilled. Yeah, and the rest of the railway military police seemed really well trained, too. You know her, instructor? You could say that. Anyway, it looks like you've managed to finish all the tasks I laid up for you, so I think it's about time we take our leave of this place, too. Understood. Do take care, everyone. Give my regards to Principal Van Dyke. And if you're ever in the area again, please do come to the market and say hi. You'll be more than welcome. We will. Thank you for everything. And she's over there back to sleeping. She's asleep again. She, she's asleep. You don't think she's faking it, do you? No, there's no way she could be faking it. Like, she really looks like she's sleeping. And I actually know people that are like that, that they can just turn their sleep switch on and off just, just super fast. It's freaking incredible. I wish I had that ability. Mm, nope. Judging by her breathing, I believe she really is asleep. Well, it sounds like Group B turned out to be a complete disaster. Oh, dang. Is that why she came back so she fast? She had to deal with them, then come back here on the same day? I'll bet she's totally spent. Yeah, good point. Anyone would be exhausted trying to sort that out. It's hard to imagine her actually working hard, though, considering her usual attitude. <laughs> exactly. It does seem as though she's genuinely looking out for us, however. She probably went over there, saw what was going on, was like, nope, I'm going back to Group A. I don't need this bullshit. So, this is how our first field study trip comes to an end, huh? I think yep. I might have an idea now as to why we're here, though. I had the same thought. Testing the Arcus is clearly a big reason for coming here, but it's not the only reason. I think it has more to do with making sure we see everything that's going on with our own eyes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Learning more about places in Erebonia we've only read about in books. And getting to see the issues occurring in those regions firsthand, just like in Keldic. Indeed. And just as we thought and acted swiftly in the face of crisis this time, so too may we be called upon to do so again. Most likely. These field studies may aim to test and cultivate those skills in preparation for our futures. Exactly. Add to that good judgment, decisiveness, and general conduct. And I'd say we have a pretty clear picture as to why we're out in the field. Basically, we're training everywhere we go. Well, you're about half right. Okay, then what's the other half? Instructor. I was so certain you were sound asleep. She probably was, but probably woke up for like the last <laughs> bit. What can I say? I can nod off and back on again in the blink of an eye. It's what I do. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Please teach me your ways. As you rightly noted, having first-hand knowledge of the areas to which you might be deployed is of tremendous importance. As is the ability to make swift, accurate judgments and solve problems with or without orders. Developing all these skills to their fullest is definitely a major part of why you're undertaking these field studies. Just as I thought. It's an interesting approach, but honestly, I've never heard of any other military academy trying it. Hmm. You say we're only half right, however. Which begs the question, what's the rest of the story? Is she gonna tell us? That's the real question. 
Hmm? Is something wrong? They're waiting for you to answer. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. I was just thinking about what we did during your field study and why we were doing it. The whole concept seems eerily similar to the MO of Bracers. <sighs> now that you mention it... The Bracer Guild prides itself on protecting civilians over all else. So it seems an unusual source of inspiration for a military academy. But the tasks we were given in Keldic do seem to align themselves quite well with the Bracer's basic philosophy. Yeah, I guess so. Their emblem depicts a supporting gauntlet, and that's pretty much exactly what we've been for these people. Bracers still have branches all over the continent, but you hardly ever see them in Erebonia anymore. <laughs> well, you got me. Which means... So, he, she's surprised that he hit the money so freaking quick. Oh, really? You're just gonna go back to sleep and act like nobody said anything? You better wake up. How are we ever supposed to take her seriously when she says things like that, then conspicuously falls asleep? Well, whether or not we did in fact get her, it still seems like Bracers are somehow related to our activities here. Not that Instructor Sarah is likely to come clean about our involvement anytime soon. I knew she wasn't going to answer. I already knew. I was like, is it? There's no way. Whenever it's something important in any story, they just love to drag it out as much as possible. I suppose until she does, all we can do is prepare ourselves and body and mind for our next field study. Yeah. Hmm? Is there something else bothering you? Oh, no. It's just... Well, we've been in the same class for a month now. And this whole time I've been... kind of keeping you in the dark. What do you mean? You aren't referring to the issue regarding your swordsmanship, I take it? No, it's not that. It's something I've been hiding from you all this time. Regarding my social class. What? Are you saying your family... Yeah, I dodged the question when Machias asked. But technically, I come from a family of nobles. See, so Elliot was right. Uh, uh. He's like, yes, I knew it! <laughs> my hometown is Ymir, in the northern mountains. I'm the son of its ruler, Baron Schwarzer. You're from Ymir? Schwarzer. Now that you mention it, I have heard the name before. An honorable family, closely tied with the Imperial family themselves, despite being headed by a mere baron. I, I never would have imagined you might be the son of a noble too. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected you to. I don't act like one. My dad and mom are both quite easygoing individuals. They don't behave like your typical nobles at all. And technically, since I was adopted, I don't have any actual noble blood running through me. I'm upper class in name only. So he didn't really lie when he said, I have not one ounce of noble blood in my veins. But Elliot, like, understood that he dodged the the question he never said yes or no he just kind of went around it so yeah Elliot was so on the money you hmm sounds like you've got your own issues to deal with just like the rest of us huh <laughs> I don't think of it as a big deal and I don't want you to think of it as one either I just didn't want to keep it a secret any longer after everything we've been through these past few days, I owe you guys that much. I mean, you're all going to be a major part of my life from here on out. It's only fair to share as much as I can with you, right? I don't know what to say. You consider us to be major parts of your life? Honestly, has anyone ever told you that you can be way too serious sometimes? Yes, you. All the time. Just be sure you reveal your true identity to the others when we get back, too. Oh, I intend to. Huh. 
Ah, youth. What? You're still young yourself. Still, even discounting the strangely perfect timing of the railway military police. That ruler of the forest they ran into in the nature park. Seems to be a harbinger of something big happening behind the scenes. Alright guys, we're I've ran out of time for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm so glad we finally, finally beat that giant baboon. You cannot believe how happy I how happy I am that that is finally behind us, that is now in the past. And now we've met some interesting characters. We found out that freaking Reen was actually, technically he is a noble. But yeah, I guess we'll find out more and see everybody else's reactions when he breaks the news to them in the next video. And if you like this video, then please destroy that like and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!